everyone and happy Friday. It's Shanitra and today I'm going to be filming my foundation routine. So as you can see I don't have any makeup on my face at the moment. So if you would like to see how I achieve my um, everyday foundation routine then just keep watching. Okay so this is going to be a talk through. The first step is I'm actually going to moisturize my face and right now I'm using the Time Wise Moisturizer from Mary Kay. It's this one right here. It is an age-fighting moisturizer, so I just like to start off with a little bit of that, just like a pea-sized amount. And what I'll do is I'll just put that all over my face, especially since it is the cooler months here in Texas. This is very important to avoid dry skin. So I just make sure I have all of my face covered. Okay, so the next step is my primer. So right now I'm using the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. It's this one right here. So this is one of my favorites. I do have oily to combination skin, so this does not uh, make your skin oily. It helps keep it matte throughout the day. So I'm going to place it all over. It's very silky smooth. Okay, and it's important as well to make sure you moisturize your lips. So I have baby, baby lip sunscreen. Okay, so now on to the foundation. I actually mix foundations. So I have the Revlon Color Stay in shade Caramel. And then I also have the MAC Pro Long Wear in NC, what is it? Sorry, NC45. So what I like to do is just mix half and half. So I will do two pumps. So I love having two different shades because in the wintry months when it's less warm, you can wear the lighter shade and then in the summertime if you get a little bit tan by going outside of course you can use a darker shade from Revlon it's a 24 hour color stay so these two are my favorites and what I do is I just mix the two to achieve the shade that I desire And then I'm just going to dabble it on my face to prep for blending. I also like to pay close attention to my blemish spot. Try not to get it in my hair since it is curly and all over the place today. Okay, so I think that's enough to start off with. So I'm going to use my Precision Face Brush from Bare Minerals. It's a very dense brush here. I absolutely love it. It's very soft. Just moisten it a little bit in the brush and then pat it into my face
All right, so then I'm gonna put just a little bit more on my problem areas. And then after this, I will buff it in. So what I love about the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation, it is a long-lasting foundation. Very creamy, easy to work with. And then the Revlon 24-Hour Color Stay. I love that one because it's a very sheer foundation and definitely buildable. I would say both of them are buildable. And I like the way that both of them work together. Make sure you drag it down on the neck, that way it's not a harsh line. And since it's an everyday look, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, if there are a few things that you can see through the foundation, then it's okay, because it's not supposed to be an overbearing look. Um, but then I am going to put on some concealer and also powder, so it may cover a little bit more than it looks like right now. So for the concealer, I'm going to use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This one is in shade NC42. It's this one right here. So it's very easy to work with, again, and it does have a pump. But I like to pump it on my hand here, being a little careful because... A lot comes out at once and a little bit goes a long way so you don't need a whole lot of product. So I have a little bit on my hand there. So use my finger and place it under my eye. So since I'm not going for a highlighting effect, I won't put it on my forehead, I won't put it on my chin. But I am going to put a little bit on the bridge of my nose. Just a little. And then I'm going to use the MAC All Blending Sponge. Right here I try to use one of the top corners. Wet it a little bit. And this one I'm using to spray and wet my brushes, just the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. I find it works well when you want to wet uh, the sponge or the brush. And then also if you want to set your makeup afterwards, it does a pretty good job. So I'm going to start working with this before it dries, because it is pretty quick at drying. I'm blend it out. So you want to make sure that the concealer is about one to two shades lighter than your foundation. So I'm going to go back with my foundation brush from earlier. Just kind of buff out the edges here so there are no harsh lines. Okay, so next I'm going to set my concealer with my Ben Nye Luxury Powder in the shade Banana. So this one right here. Even though I'm not going for a highlight look, this is pretty much my favorite to set my under eye concealer because it does not crease. So I will just place a little bit here in the cap. Then I have an e.l.f. blush brush. This one right here, it's really soft and I love the way that it helps put the product on. So I will be using a blush brush. Just gonna pat it under my eye.
So it's a really fine powder and what I love about it is it has a yellow undertone which is perfect because my skin has a yellow undertone so rather than using a, a white translucent, I love using this one. And it does not cake up. Put a little bit down the bridge of my nose. Okay, so now it's time for powder. So for the powder, I'm going to use MAC Studio Fits in the shade NC45. So it's this one right here. The powder. And here's the shade. So for the brush, I have the Real Techniques Duo Fiber Face Brush. So I like to sweep it on my face, buffing it in. So what I love about the MAC Studio Fix Powder is that it does prevent oil from surfacing, so it'll help you keep the matte finish throughout the day. Alrighty, so I'm going to go back in with the Ben Nye Powder right here. bridge of my nose. So the next step is I'm going to do a slight contour. Nothing heavy since it's just a day look. So I'm going to use my e.l.f. contouring bronzing powder. This one is in the shade Antigua. It's right here. This one right there on this side. So I have the Real Techniques cheek brush. It's going to dab it and go along my uh, cheekbone. Bring it up on the side. Ah, crazy hair. Okay. Tame it, tame it, tame it. Then I'm just going to put it around my forehead just a little bit. Next is blush. I'm going to use my ultimate fave. This brush, I, or blush, excuse me, I use all the time. Um, it's called Love Joy by MAC. It's a mineralized blush. So I have a Bare Minerals Flawless Face Brush, this one right here, just going to sweep it above the contour. Next I'm going to use my Sephora Highlighter. This one is Honey Heat. I'm going to use the shade right here on this side. And then a MAC, I think it is a 158 or 156 brush. And just put it on my cheekbone. On the top of it to highlight. Okay, so then I'm going to take my all over face brush with my normal face powder and just kind of go over everything to blend. Mm. 
Next, I'm gonna put on some mascara. This is the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. So just a little bit. So what this does, or what I'm trying to do with this mascara, is just accentuate my natural lashes. We're not going to add any falsies. Nothing over the top. And then a little bit on the bottom. Okay, so what I found on this part is, if your eyes water, just hold your breath and then they will not. Okay, I think that will do it. So last but not least, we're gonna put on a lip shade to complete the look. I'm gonna start off with my Milani um, Color Statement Lip Liner. This one is a, says True Instant Color, Long Wearing, Easy Glide Formula to Line and Fill. It's shade 04, which is all natural. It's this right here. So I'm gonna outline the outside of my lips. Just a little bit. Did not sharpen it, so we'll get a little bit off of it and it's okay. Just to create the ba the barrier on the outside to help the lipstick not bleed over. It's very natural shade, you probably won't be able to see it. So the shade of the day is gonna be the MAC Cream in Your Coffee. I love this lipstick. It's more of a Pink mauve Nude. I'll show you right here the shade. This shade right here. So as you can see, it matches my nail polish. So pretty neutral shade that I love for a go-to. Okay, so just a little bit, it does have a sheen, a sheer sheen finish. Okay, so what do you think? Um, definitely let me know, leave a comment in the comment section below, and let me know what you think of this look. So this is my go-to pretty much every day. Um, if I'm in a hurry, I'll do basically the same thing, just speed up just a little bit, uh, just a little bit faster. But this is a look. What do you think? Let me know. Don't forget to subscribe and um, comment below. Until next Friday. Bye, guys.